Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be going through some important privacy settings that you should enable or disable if you're using iOS 8. So whether you're using an iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch, if you want to protect your privacy, you're going to want to follow these tips. Let's get started. So for this video and for these tips, we're going to be working with the settings application and we're going to start with the privacy settings. So in this section, we'll scroll down to the bottom where it says advertising and you'll see I have limit ad tracking enabled. And the reason I have this enabled is because if you have it disabled, it's going to allow the advertisers to track your location and your data. So enable it and you can stop the advertisers from tracking your data. The next tip, once again, we're going to go back into our privacy section. This time we're going to tap on location services and we're going to scroll pretty much to the bottom and tap on system services and you're going to see a whole list here of different system services. Now some of these services here basically involve the advertisers once again allowing them to track your location to do things that are involving their advertisements. Also there's location based alerts and things like that. So the way I keep things safe for privacy is like this. I keep them pretty much all on except for a few. I don't share my location. I turn my location based IADs off and the location based alerts off and I also have my frequent locations turned off because I don't like the device to actually find and see where I am if you turn this on and you'll see a little map and things like that it'll actually track where you've been on your iPhone using the map so whenever you use your Google Maps or your iMaps or whatever you're using it'll basically track and remember where you were and where you were going and things like that so I turn mine off just for safety and because I don't understand why they need to know that I also turn off the diagnostics and usage this is something that Apple uses to sort of keep track on what's going on with their iOS devices. If you have it on, they can pretty much track and see whatever's going on with your device. And they say that it uses this so that they can improve it. But just because I don't know what they're doing, I'll leave mine off. Now the other things here you can keep on and off, I actually turn this on at the bottom, the status bar icon. It allows me to see that little arrow whenever things are turning on and off with my location. You'll also see some of them are purple, like this motion calibration is purple. If you're having battery life issues, then you might want to turn these off as well because location-based services obviously will use your GPS and things like that. So that's going to lower your battery life throughout the process of you using your phone. But my settings are like this in this section and I find that these are the best for privacy. The next tip, once again, we're going to go into our privacy section and we're going to focus on our location services. Now this may seem very simple, but but if you're using a lot of applications, as you can see, I have a lot here. You want to basically select which can and cannot use your location. So for applications such as, say, the camera app, you can select while you're using the app or never to share your location. Or for applications like this one here, you can always have it using your location or sharing your location. And it basically says it'll be able to see your location even when this application is in the background. So I like to keep mine on never or I'll keep them on when the app is being used and you can select that and this will save battery life as well as protect your privacy because a lot of these third party apps or random apps like you don't really know what's going on and there's always news about different applications using various information that they collect and they use it in the wrong way. Next we are going to go in to our privacy section and actually focus on this section. Now your contact, your calendars, your email, and things like that are very important things to you. So you don't wanna share this information with anyone or any application, right? So what you wanna do is open them up and see what you're actually sharing this information with. So for my contacts, you can see I share it with Safari and I share it with WhatsApp. Not really sure why I'm sharing it with Safari, so I'm gonna turn that off. And you can see which applications can access this information if you allow them to. Now I let WhatsApp use my information, my contact information, because it's a messaging app. I sort of trust them, they're pretty big, and uh, I don't mind sending that information out. But if you notice that there's some third-party applications that you don't really use a lot, and they're for some reason accessing your photos, for example, like you can see I have quite a few here that use my photos, and uh, you don't want them to use it, you can actually just select and turn them off and things like that so you don't really have to have that um, enabled now also within this setting here if you scroll down a little bit more you can see your Twitter and Facebook here and you can actually select those as well 
and uh, allow them to use uh, various information. You can also tap on diagnostics and usage here, and you can choose to don't send that information. So that's very much similar to what we did in the other uh, section there where we didn't allow the information to be sent. It says it helps Apple improve its products and services by automatically sending the information, things like that. I keep mine off. If you tap right here, you can actually see how many times it was sent because I did have it on for a while. You can see how many times in uh, the process of just a few months that it was sending this information. So if you don't want that to be happening, just make sure that you disable the section here and just have it set to don't send. So that's what you need to do in the privacy section. <laughs> Lastly, we're gonna focus on our browser settings. So if you're using Safari or Chrome, that's what I'm gonna focus on here because most people use them. So we'll tap on Safari first in our settings application and we'll scroll down to where it says privacy and security. Now I have do not track selected so the sites cannot track me. I also have a block cookies set to allow from websites I visit, but you can set this to always block or always allow depending on what you want to allow. I've also got the fraudulent website warning selected. This way, if you ever visit a fraudulent website, it'll warn you prior to you actually going to that site and you can decide if you wanna visit it or not. Lastly, here at the bottom, if you clear your history and website data, that's always a good practice to keep things fresh. And for those of you that use Chrome, just scroll down to where your Chrome section is and you can actually set up a few settings right here. So to use cellular data, also your location services, while using the app, you can set it up or you can have it set to never. Now for a lot of the settings in Chrome, you're gonna actually need to open up the Chrome application itself. And what you wanna do is tap on this little tab right here and we're gonna scroll down a little bit and tap on settings. Now here's where you'll see all the different settings. So your advanced setting, your privacy setting is what we're gonna focus on. So clearing the browsing history is always important as we talked about with the Safari section. Also clearing your cache, clear that. Clearing the cookies and site data is always good. And you can just select clear all and it'll do it all for you quickly. If you wanna clear your passwords, just in case you have too many passwords there and other people use your phone, you wanna go ahead and clear those. You can also send usage data. I have mine set to never because I don't want my usage data being sent out to anyone. And then do not track is obviously off. This way they cannot track me. So just keep that in mind if you're using the Chrome or Safari browsers. And these are just some of the settings you wanna set up if you're using an iOS device and you're worried about your safety, privacy. And obviously this is with iOS 8. I did the exact same thing with iOS 7. So if you're using iOS 7, there's a link in the description down below. So you can set up your settings that way. Anyway, guys, I hope this helps you, keeps you guys safe. And if you have any suggestions or have any questions about anything I showed you here, leave them in the comment box down below. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this one, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and all your other favorite social media sites. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.